Thanks very much for that introduction. Uh, as Rodrigo has already said, I'm not, a, I'm not an engineer. I don't build sensors. I don't code. I don't do any of those kind of things that I think most of you here do. Uh, I'm a psychophysiologist, so what that means is that I have knowledge about uh, inferring behavior based on sensor data. And that's what I'm really going to be talking about today, about inferring different things about human behavior based on a range of different sensors. And the, the reason I'm interested in that not just for the pure research side, but also about is how can we use this sensor information in order to create new and different forms of interaction and different forms of human computer experience. And so what I'm also going to be doing today is talking about uh, the sorts of systems that we have worked on, that we are trying to develop. Uh, and because I'm a psychologist, because I'm interested in people, uh, I'm interested in the, how this technology may, uh, I guess, disrupt user psychology to an extent, how it influences our perception of the self, and how it influences things like privacy and data protection. So I'm going to try and cover all of those things. So as I've already said, I'm, I'm a psychophysiologist. So when I tell people what I do, uh, this is normally what people picture. It's very, these laboratory experiments, uh, very invasive, people are wearing lots of wires, they are very uncomfortable. And when I say, no, it's not really like that, you know, really, I'm interested in applied psychophysiology and doing things with, with taking psychophysiology out of the lab and doing things in the real world, then they normally picture something like this, which is a polygraph, lie detection. So I think, really, the area I work in, whether I like it or not, there is normally an inherent level of threat for most people associated with it, uh, because it is... It is used to either make people uncomfortable or it is used in this kind, of, uh, this kind of invasive way. And to an extent, I feel that all of us who are psychophysiologists, and I include the neuroscientists in this as well, uh, are working in the shadow of these sorts of perceptions. And that lay people, or even people who are not lay people but are experts in other areas, tend to fall into two camps. They tend to be intrigued by what we do, and they also tend to be a little worried about what we do as well. And I think there's four reasons, really, why psychophysiological measurement uh, bothers most people. Uh, the first thing that we need to understand, I'm making this first point here, is that these data, this physiological data, we emit it to, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is always kind of going on. And normally, if a psychologist wants to find something out about you, they can ask you to complete a, a personality questionnaire, or they can ask you to do a certain sort of test that measures your level of memory. And with these measures, you give something away about the self simply by living, simply by being alive. So it's a very different sort of thing. In fact, you don't even have to be conscious to give things away about yourself. 